for the Lakers back to the promised land. Spread the vision through my people, cause we fans are equal. When we reach 20k sub, yeah, we gon' drop a sequel. Another Laker anthem track, watch me run it back. Got the keys to the city where my Laker chat. Beautiful Saturday morning, man. How you guys doing, my wonderful Lakers family? It's your boy DTLF back with another pregame live stream, man. And listen, none bigger than today. Good morning, Kimmy Go. Appreciate you, Jonathan. Jordan, man, I see y'all. Who, hey, man, listen, I'm, a, I'm blessed enough to go to the game. Shout out to Mookie, man. Today, this AM, I will be there. So I had to do it a lot earlier, man. I had to wake up a little bit earlier than I was planning to. All worth it because tonight's game is going to be an absolute banger. Listen, the Lakers have a purple and golden opportunity to move up in the standings. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Why? Because yesterday the Pelicans lost and the Kings lost, right? Plus your boy will be in the building today, which is a guaranteed dub, man. Lakers, Cavs. And again, the Cavs are never an easy matchup for us, all right? Other teams might beat them handily or whatever. But for us... Those Cleveland Cavaliers are going to be a very tough matchup. I promise you that. Not going to be easy at all. But, however, if we beat them, we will be the sole possessors of number eight seed. All right. I looked this over. I believe we'll be half a game up on them. And, uh, and yeah, I mean, check this out. Check out the standings, guys. The West has been insane. I'm talking insane. Uh, you know, we are 11 games over 500. And somehow, some way, we are still in the ninth place. Okay. Uh, 44 and 33. Now, the team that's ahead of us is the Sacramento Queens. Uh, they are 44 and 33 as well. Identical records. However, they have the tiebreaker. We win today, though, and we have a great opportunity to win out the game. The Queens lost yesterday. And if you look at their schedule, they play the Suns, followed by the Blazers. Should be an easy win here. Followed by the Kings, which is going to help us. One of them is going to have to lose, right? Followed by the Hungry Warriors who are battling for their playoff life, or should I say play in life. And then guess who has control of our destiny in the final game of the season? The Lakers, baby. So this is a great opportunity for us to move up. And I pray to God, I pray to God that we win today and tomorrow. Yeah, let's get greedy. It's time to get greedy, ladies and gentlemen. But good morning. Hopefully everybody's doing good, man. How y'all doing today? I will be reading comments early. This will be a shorter pregame because I have to drive my ass over to Staples, man, and it's about an hour away. Uh, but very excited for this one, and very grateful as well for the opportunity to be at a playoff atmosphere type game uh, with my girl, man. It's going to be fun. It's going to be uh, tons of fun. Hey, what's up, Laker girl? Good to see you. Good to see you. Who else is in here? Who else is in? Jamar, what up, bro? Uh, Kylo Ren, he said, Dan, you watching the women's NCAA championship tomorrow? Yes, I am, even though Iowa Got away with highway robbery on UConn. All right. They could listen. We couldn't even get to see a potential page uh, game winner because the NCAA decided they wanted Iowa in the final. Right. Uh, so guess who I'm rooting for? The team that hasn't cheated their way to the final, which is Cardosa and them, man. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I look forward to it tomorrow. But today, we look forward to today, man. We're looking at right here, right now. Hey, appreciate you, diehard. Hey, bro, you know I'm ready, bro. You know, you know your boy is ready, man. You, you, I got the LA the only way, man. Oh, man, super hype for today, man. Listen, listen, listen. This game could mean everything. This could be – we've had several turning points this year, and obviously we have won, what, three, four in a row. Um, this game right here is going to mean it all. All right, this is how we take sole possession of number eight seed, and we never relinquish it after that. I told you guys my goal for this Laker team was a top eight seed, one through eight. That's all I wanted. Nothing more, nothing less. And who stands in our way? None other than future Laker Donovan Mitchell. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, future Laker Donovan Mitchell. And listen, this team, again, the Cavs, very poised. They're also jockeying for playoff position. I think the Cavs are third currently right now in the East. And only half a game, or should I say, a game behind the Milwaukee Bucks for number two in the East. All right? And, and a potential to face the Heat. Or the Sixers, whoever sneaks in at number seven, right? So it's a huge game for them as well. They're again, they're gonna be battling tonight, and we know all about their players. We know all about Donovan Mitchell, right? Donovan Mitchell is an elite guard in this in the NBA. He's in his prime, 27 years of age, right? Uh, he's killing it this season for sure. What is he averaging? 26 points per game, shooting 46% from the field and 36 
percent from beyond the arc, and he has six assists and five rebounds to go with that. So again, the, watch out for Donovan Mitchell, and let's not forget about Darius Garland, right? His running backcourt mate, who's averaging seventeen points, is coming off of a major injury last month, right? Um, I think what, what was it? I forgot what his injury was, but he, he's averaging basically eighteen points, same as D'Lo. Uh, you know, shooting 44% from the field and 36% from beyond the arc with six assists and two rebounds. So both of those guys right there uh, are going to be killing it for them. And then let's not forget about Jared Allen, who's a little pest in the paint, right? He's a pest in the paint. And believe it or not, he's averaging a career high, 16.4 points per game. So AD has his hands full for him. Also 10 rebounds and a whole block. So AD's going to have his hands full with him. Um, Max Struess, who's been hitting game winners for them this year. I mean, Evan Mobley, the USC Cali kid who's only 22 years of age, showing tremendous potential, also averaging 16 points per game. I mean, this team is – they have it. They have it all, man. They have, you know, guys off the bench like Karis LeVert, um, you know, George Niang, guys like that that can come in and cause some havoc. But you know what they don't have? I'll tell you what they don't have. They don't have DTLF coming through Staples Center guaranteed victory, baby. No, nah, no, nah, but what, what, what they do, what they don't have is a LeBron James and Anthony Davis, right? And that's those are our main keys to tonight's game. Of course, every single matchup, those two set the tone and we go as they go. The role players step up a, a lot better. You know what I'm saying? They step up a lot better when those two guys come in and set the tone early. So uh doing good, John. How you guys doing, man? Good to see y'all. Going to the game. Go into the game. It's always a great day when you go into the game, man. Again, blessed. Shout out to Mookie, man. He's been blessing me tickets all year long. Also, Quincy, man. Also, Quincy. Shout out to Quincy. Uh, my guy said, tomorrow, who do we play? We play the Timberwolves, bro. He said, and do you think Brown will play back-to-back? I think he has no other choice. If, he, if we want to win these final five games, we're going to need all hands on deck. So I believe he plays tomorrow. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh... Juan said, good morning, Laker fans. Time to move up. Let's go, Dan. We need some of that Laker jacket luck. Well, this is the new Laker lucky jacket, man. This is the new one. I haven't broke out the old one. I might break it out for the postseason, but this is the new one. So let, let's start a new trend here, man, with, with this new lucky Laker jacket. Uh, he said, would you lose respect for the Lakers if they wasted a draft pick on Bronny to appease LeBron? I covered this last night, bro. There's a whole video on the topic, so if you're interested more in that. And, and I went really in depth with that, and also uh, got some phone calls yesterday on phone call Friday. So shout out to everybody. Um, yes, I would be disappointed because the Lakers should never operate for one player; they should operate for the franchise. We always think of the name in the front rather than the name on the back. So I've always been like that, even when Kobe Bryant played. Right. So I hope that the Lakers will operate in the best interest of the franchise moving forward. But we'll see. We will see. Okay. Uh, he said, Price picks Dan. I need AD 14 rebounds and Rui a good game. And Brian, let's go off Lakers, bro. Easy money. I got you. I will be submitting my entry, uh, towards the end of this video. So I got you probably around the 15 minute mark. This will be a lot quicker of a pregame just because I got to hit the road, Jack. Uh, that would be a huge one. He said, Did you see the Celtics last night trying to throw the game? I didn't watch the full game, I saw clips. I did watch. The Dallas versus the Warriors game. And, man, the Dallas Mavericks are firing right now. They are firing. And um, <coughs> they're going to be a lot of fun to watch, of course, except when they play our Lakers. So so that's going to be fun. By the way, yes, we're still doing playback TV. I'm not sure if KJ and Die Hard will be available. But if they are, I will let them run it over there, guys. And I will be just uh, monitoring from my phone as I'm at the game, right? But you guys still get to watch with those fellas, assuming they join today. So make sure you guys do tap into Playback TV. We ha we're five members away from 400. So if you guys already haven't followed, download the app and then uh, and then uh, make sure you guys do tap in. But listen, a lot of fun today, man. A very nerve wracking game. I'm sure Staples Center is gonna be rocking, and there's gonna be. I, I promise you, there's gonna be. Um, what do you call it? Uh, playoff intensity and energy there, man. It's, it's it's gonna be everything today. Everything you hope for as a fan. And, of course, we're going to come out with victory. By the way, the link is in the chat. There you go. See? They're going to be – peace head. No days off, playback, or stay back. That's the that's the energy I need right there, Die Hard. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, my goodness, man. I'm ready to scream my lungs off, especially early in the morning, man. I'm going to have all the energy in the world um, and all that good stuff. But, yeah, this, this, tonight is going to be everything. And, again, Lakers win. They become sole possessors of 
number eight seed for the time being. I had to overlook that. I wasn't sure since we had we're tied in the last column, right? But I had to double check and all that good stuff, man. Any comments, questions, concerns? I got you guys. I'm here for you guys. Um, he said, okay, he said this would be a huge win. Um, after we win today, do we root for the Suns or the Pelicans tomorrow? I don't root for any of them, to be honest with you. Like, I'll tell you what. Probably the Suns, just because they're a little bit higher up in the standings, right? And as a result, uh, you're a lot closer to the Pelicans. Well, not a lot, but a little closer to the Pelicans, who have lost four in a row. So can they make it five in a row and completely collapse? And by the way, I do believe we have the tiebreaker with the Pelicans. We've beat it more times this season. Uh, fact check me on that, but I believe we've beat it more times this season. So we would listen. The Lakers could potentially by the end of this weekend be in the number seven slot, maybe more, maybe more, but seven slot if we win both of the games and certain teams lose. Uh, he said, Dan, this is a must win game. Also, I hope they wear the Mamba Black jerseys. Oh man, that would be fire. We haven't broke those out in quite a minute, have we? <sighs> that would be insane. If they break those out, bro, for this type of game. That's all I got to say. Uh, he said, Dan, do you think the Bucks should fire Doc and bring back Adrian Griffin? They're paying him regardless. I think Adrian Griffin's pride is too big for him to accept this job and try to save that team right now. If he, if I'm him, I'm sitting home just laughing right now. It's like, bro, I had y'all damn near 20 games over 500, and now you guys are a 500 team since you let me go for that, uh, you know, saying for that fraud, Doc Rivers. So if I'm Adrian Griffin, I'm not accepting shit from the Bucks. If anything else, it's, it's a testament for him. If whenever he applies for a different job, he could use that in his resume. Like, look, look at the way I have Milwaukee playing versus the way a, a, a experienced coach like Doc Rivers has them. So that'll tell you where I'm trending towards and, and where they're going. Sometimes they need tough love, for sure. Sometimes they need tough love, right? Players, it's not all about, the buddy system. Only works to a certain degree. And the thing about Doc is he's not tough love. He is throw you under the bus material, right? So that's just the thing. But, I mean, great questions, man, as far as the root, who to root for and stuff. Listen, I root for the Lakers and anybody in our way, I want them to lose. I don't care who that is. I don't care who that is. Anybody, anybody at all in our way must go down 110%, right? All right, let's do our price picks entries for today, man. Let's get in on this early. And see so what we got to do to win some moolah, baby. Let's go. Um, <clears throat> all right. You know what? I'm really, really, really loving this Rui production one right here, man. He's been super productive. So I'm picking him up straight off the bat. All right. D'Angelo Russell has potential to go off today. Sure. 18 points doesn't seem too high. Cavalier is not the best defensive team. Uh, so we, we'll come back to that. Um, points and assists from Mobley. He's been getting them. He's been getting them chatting. You know the Lakers get killed a lot inside. However, they have heavy guard play, and we just don't know if they will be, you know, say if they will be um attacking the paint a lot, especially with AD roaming. Who else? Who else, guys? Donovan Mitchell is a killer. Oh my god, he hasn't really been over the mark for a lot, but that's a risky one right there. D getting 5.5 assists, risky one as well. Um, okay. I'm gonna go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the D'Angelo Russell 17.5 points a game. If this is a close game, maybe even goes into overtime, that would be great. I'm going to be there live. So, I mean, usually I don't want overtime games when my heart stops. But when you're in person, you want an, a, a high electrifying game. You want that type of – you want all the smoke when you're there. All right, let, let's go to the next pick right here. If you guys have any suggestions for me, make sure to drop them down in the chat. What's up, Roy? Do we have an update on Vando? He will be reevaluated again at some point. He, he's been clear for non-contact drills and stuff like that, but he hasn't been clear for practice yet. So he needs to go to practice before he can get cleared. So that is the update on Vando right now. Uh, no overtime, Dan. We play tomorrow. You're right about that. Never mind. I take that back. I take that back on the OT. All right, but let, let's go over here and see if we can pick up a goblin or two. Um, man, Darius Garland could easily drop the 19. I know he hasn't been hitting, but you know the Lakers in our perimeter defense, man. We give up tons of threes. So I might come back to that one. I, want, I do want to pick up one goblin somewhere. Somewhere. It might not be in the scoring department, though. Let's try points, rebounds, assists. This stat right here is highly saturated sometimes. Um, but let's see. D'Angelo Russell, points, rebounds, assists. Hasn't been getting them like that. Uh, Anthony Davis, three out of five, not too shabby. Uh, let's go LeBron 
Three out of five as well. Man, can we get a four out of fiver, please? Can we get a four out of five, please? Por favor. Oh, there he is. There he is. And he's going up against the Lakers, man. Hometown kid. You have to kind of think he's going to want to put up a big gang, right, versus his hometown. I'm going to pick him up. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit, baby. All right, so we got three in. Three in the chamber. Uh, and let's go blocks, steals. Oh, I wish AD was here. Nope. Turnovers. Who's 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 under the turnovers? Dennis the Menace. He hasn't been. He's been taking good care of the ball, and he's going up against Detroit. I have a feeling I should go less. What do you guys think? He's a free pick right here. Ain't no way he gets three turnovers versus Detroit, of all teams. All right, we're gonna go less. A one, two, three, four. We need one more. We need one more. Darius Godland. <whistles> you talk about turnover machine? That's kind of risky. It's kind of risky. We don't know what type of defense the Lakers are gonna come out. 3.5 turnovers. You would hope this cat right here does less than 3.5 turnovers versus the Memphis Grizzlies of all teams, right? Now, we know they got Jaron Jackson Jr., but 3.5 turnovers, it's a little high for Memphis. We know they're not a defensive team. I'm, I'm going less on that. It's going to be my entry, right? We got Rui Slashimura, trip, you know, uh, points, rebounds, assists. We got D Low on points. We got uh, Evan Mobley on everything. Uh, less than 2.5 turnovers. And then, of course, my guy. I Listen, I'd be shocked if any of these two get more than that amount of turnovers, especially based on their opponents, man, especially based on their opponents. So let's go with that. And that is going to be my entry for the day. Of course, I'm probably going to play six bucks. How about that? Six dollars. So that's it. That's all we get. I guess, you know what? I'll take surefire money. I'll take surefire money. 60 bucks is all we get. But it's all right. We put it in. We put it in. No ditty. All right, here we go. So hopefully you guys uh, tailed. If you already haven't joined Price Picks, now's the perfect time, man. You see the promo code up top and 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 over my right shoulder, man. Make sure you guys do tap in. All right, <coughs> let's see. When do you think Game Vincent will start contributing, or will he? I told you guys. I don't know if you remember when he came back from injury. I didn't expect too much from him early on, simply because he's coming off a you know a major injury and. It's going to take time for him to get his feet wet. I think by playoff time, he will be contributing. I have a good feeling about Gabe Vincent. Let me give you a scenario here. D'Angelo Russell came out versus the Denver Nuggets. We're, we're either in the second and third round. Whatever. Uh, came out versus the Denver Nuggets. He's not shooting well. He's getting cooked on the defensive end. Go get Gabe Vincent. Gabe Vincent comes in off the bench. He plays that elite defense. He stays with uh, guard Jamal Murray, all-star guard Jamal Murray. He shades him really well, forces him to a couple of uh, turnovers, maybe some contested shots. Um, and then on the other end, he gets us 11 points. But none bigger than, you know, the production he, he gives us off the bench on both ends. So I think he can have those type of games. And I just wanted to paint a picture for you of what type of production I'm expecting off the bench from him eventually when he gets healthy. But I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying he's going to do that every single game, right? Opportunity is going to matter for sure. And so we got to be really intelligent about, the way we played them, how we utilize them, and what the matchups are looking like, you know? Great question, though, Falcons fan. He said, looks like LeBron is locked in on the court early. Let's go, Laker Nation. Hey, that's what you want to see. Every single freaking game is going to be uh, do or die now. Is Every single game is going to be do or die. So we want to see LeBron James locked in. We want to see AD locked in. Hey, every time I go to a Lakers game, I've been blessed to go eight times this year with this one, man. Shout out to Mookie and, again, my guy Quincy. For the free tickets, man, they have been, especially, man, Mook, big blessings. But every time I've been there, I see Max Christie at the halftime be the first one out the tunnel, shooting free throws, working on his mid-range jump shot, all that good stuff. So that's what I want to see from everybody, and especially the stars, that sense of urgency, that kick it into next gear, all of that good stuff, man. Uh, he said, both of our superstars and D'Lo are the key today. AD needs to dominate their bigs. Oh, yeah, my first key for today's matchup was obviously LeBron James and AD. Second key is going to be the role players. Not only D'Lo, but I'm expecting a big game from Austin. He hasn't really had a big game per se. We're coming back home today, babe. We're going to come back home today, and I think Austin thrives at home. I can't wait to see it. You know, He loves the home crowd. He's a, one of the fan favorites. Matter of fact, I might drop a video on him real soon to why he's one of the fan favorites because I want to go more in-depth and bring back those type of videos again. But um, overall, man, I, I just want all the role players to step up. That's key number two. And then key number three, turnovers. Watch out for those. 
Cleveland likes to get out in transition. They're going to get you. They got some athletes. They got some young, explosive guards like Donovan Mitchell that are looking to put in work. They got some big men who can run the court as well. So don't turn over the ball because you give up easy buckets, and easy buckets lead to a high chance of losing. So please, please, Lakers, take care of the basketball today. That's key number three. Those are my top three keys right there. LeBron and AD taking care of the basketball. Role players stepping up and having big games. We talked about uh, D'Lo. We talked about Austin. How about Rui as well? Um, Spencer Dinwiddie, maybe, you know, some of these guys. And then key number three, don't turn the ball over. That's a huge key, by the way. Uh, Eddie Berto, what's up, brother? How you doing, man? Good to see you, man. It's a nice fit. Appreciate that. Appreciate that, brother. So playing two-way is better than focus just on offense. Well, that's something the Lakers haven't really been doing since Vando went down with injury. So, unfortunately, he's still not back. We still don't have a timetable for his return. But hopefully he'll be back before the playoffs. I need him to get his feet wet for one or two games. Again, guys, I think that's going to wrap it up for me. I, I got to make this one snappy because I got to hit the road. I, I, again, I got a long drive all the way to Staples. Hopefully try to avoid some traffic early morning here during the weekend. But Playback TV is going to be active, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give my two guys, Die Hard and KJ, the uh, the privileges, the admin privileges, so that they can, uh, you know, saying they can, you know, monitor, uh, you know, the, the chat over there and all that good stuff. And I will be overseeing everything. So if anybody wants to join them, go ahead and submit your request. Should be fun. Make sure you follow over there. All you got to do is click the link. We are five away from 400. So kudos to you guys, man. One of the fastest, if not the fastest growing channels over there on Playback TV. And we're taking over the world, baby, one step at a time. A lot of content coming all summer long. Stay tuned. Appreciate you guys, man. Go Lakers. Shout out to Mook. I'm heading out to Staples right now. Uh, and uh, you guys know when your boy goes out, I think our record this year is 6-2 and two at Staples. So it's, it's most likely a win when your boy gets out there. So let's go get this dub, Laker family. I will see you guys for post game on the drive back home, all right? Enjoy the Lakers game. Go Dodgers as well, man. We got to bounce back. We lost yesterday. We lost yesterday. We got to get a win today, man. But uh, I'll see you guys real soon, all right? Peace.